What's up guys, this new series is going to be about the history of these cars while we do a hot lap in them. This game is so good by um, EA, it's amazing, it's as if you actually have driven the car. So I thought, you know what, let me read up a bit on the history of the car and share that data with you guys. Anyway, the first one I'm going to do this on is the E330 M3. It was produced in 1986, between 1986 and 1992, made in Germany and also, believe it or not, in South Africa. It was all of them were two body, two door sedans or two door convertibles. Engine started off from a 2.3 litre four cylinder and all had a five speed transmission. Based in on the 1986 model here, E30 um, 3 Series, the BMW was introduced with a 2.3 litre L4 um, S14 B23 engine, also known as the S14. The engine design was based on various BMW parts. Basic block layout was from the M10 four cylinder found in the 2002 BMW 320, overboard and reinforced to similar specifications of the BMW M88 inline six. The valve train and the header architecture from the BMW M1, later the M6 inline six cylinder was adopted from aggressive and of course to cause seriously aggressive breathing. In contrast to later M3 iterations, the E330 M3 was campaigned by BMW as well as other racing teams including ProDrive, AC Schlitzer, um, competing in many various forms of uh, racing including uh, the German Rally, British Touring Championships, Italian Belgium, French and Australian Touring Championships. The production of the E330 road car was a Holomagate, the M3 was to Holomagate the M3 from Group A Touring Car Racing. It was to compete with the 2.3 16-valve model of Mercedes-Benz, the W201-190E, that was introduced in 1983. In its final years of competition, the 2.5-litre S14 engine in full race trim was capable of 250 horsepower, 190 kilowatts naturally aspirated. A, a bit about the different versions of this car. Okay, we'll start off the third road going version produced 192 bhp 143 kilowatts catalyzed models you also got the 197 bhp 147 kilowatts which was a non-catalyzed um, version evolution models not sold um, not sold in north america continued with a 2.3 liter but adopted a number of changes including a revised intake camshaft profile a modified exhaust camshaft timing increased um, compression and more efficient cylinder head intake port design larger diameter exhaust headers tubes along with a lack of um, list contributed to approximate um, production of 160 whopping kilowatts other evolution model changes included larger wheels 16 uh, times 7.5 inches thinner rear side windows glasses a lighter bootlet a deeper front spoiler and additional rear spoiler later the sports evolution model produced a uh, run of 600 sometimes referred to as the Evolution 3 increasing engine displacement to a whopping 2.5 liters and produced 238 bm hp which is equivalent to 177 kilowatts sports evolution models had higher lift intake and exhaust camshaft enlarged front fender openings and an adjustable multi-position front splitter and rear wing brake cooling ducts were installed in place of the front fog lamps an additional 786 convertible models were produced Changes from the standard 3 series body. The E30 M3 differed from the rest of the E30 lineup in many ways. The M3, although using the same basic unit body shell as a standard E30, was equipped with 12 different and unique body panels for the purpose of improving aerodynamics, as well as flared boxes, um, wheel arches in the front and rear to accommodate a wider track and wider and taller um, wheels and tires. The only exterior body panels the standard BMW 3 Series and the M3 shared were the hood, the roof panel and the sunroof. Suspension the E30 M3 differs from the standard E30 by having a 5x120 wheel bolt pattern. The E30 M3 had increased caster angle through major front suspension changes. The M3 had specific solid rubbers. Um, offset control arm bushings, it used aluminium control arms and the front strut tubes were changed to a design similar bolt on kingpin and sway bar mounted to a strut tube which was similar to the E28 5 series. This includes carrying over the 5 series front wheel bearings and brake calipers, 
bolt spacings and the rear suspension is a carryover from the E30. Brakes. The E330M3 has special front and rear brake calipers and rotors. It also has a special brake master cylinder. Driveline. The E320M3 had one of two Getrag 265 speed gearboxes. US models received an overdrive transmission while European models were outfitted with a dogleg version. The first gear being down to the left. The fifth gear being a final 1.1 ratio. Rear differential installed included a 4.10 to 1 final drive ratio for the US models. European versions were equipped with a 3.15 to 1 final drive ratio. All versions were clutch type limited slip differentials with a 25% lockup. The wrap up. To keep the car competitive in racing, following year to year homologation rule changes homologation specials were produced homologation rules roughly started that the, um, stated that the race car version must reflect the street car aerodynamically and in engine displacement these include the evo 1 the evo 2 and the sports evolution some of which featured less weight improved aerodynamics taller front fender arches sports evolution to further facilitate 18 inch 460 millimeter wheels in the dtm brake ducting and more power other limited production models based on evolution models but featured special paintwork and unique interior schemes commemorating championship wins, including the Europa, Ravaglia, the Kekoto, and the European Master. Production of the original BMW E30 A30 M3 ended in 1992. The M3 the entries were entered by BMW as well as private racing teams and its wins included the Deutsche Tourwagen, um, British Touring Car Championship, European Car Championship, Australian um, Car Championship, as well as a one-off World Touring Championship title in 1987. The E30 M3 is also a multiple winner for the GUI um, race, 24-hour Nuremberg Ring and the Spa 24-hour. The M3 also saw service as a rally car, provided pro-drive prepared examples, contesting several national championships and selected rounds of the World Rally Championship between 1987 and 1989. By the later year, the cars based on the standard M3 were equipped with a six-speed gearbox and produced 295 braking horsepower. The M3 was not competitive with the four-wheel drive cars on loose surface on, on loose um, gravel, but a very effective car on asphalt. Its most notable success um, was victory on the Tour de Course in 1987 driven by Bernard Bay Green. Performance specs, the, e, the M3 Evolution 1 um, had a 2.3 litre 16 valve 4 in line, it produced 143 kilowatts or 192 horsepower that was good enough to make 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds and had a top speed of 146 miles an hour or 235 kilometers an hour the evo 2 also had a 2.3 liter 16 valve engine it produced 158 kilowatts or 212 horsepower 0 to 62 was 6.7 seconds and its top speed was 149 miles an hour or 240 kilometers an hour and finally the evo 3 the 2.5 liter 16 valve 4 in line was 175 kilowatts or 235 horsepower 0 to 60 was 6.1 seconds and a top speed of 154 miles an hour or 248 kilometers an hour well guys, that about sums it up for the E30 BMW M3, a legendary car, a wonderful machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thank EA for producing such a wonderful game and also Wikipedia for giving me all that wonderful information so I could relate back to you guys. I hope you enjoyed. This was Drake. Thumbs it up. Over and out.